you got the point. The idea is to separate the logic yeah. from the views. And then if you're using SwiftUI, if you're using UIKit, that's just an implementation detail. It shouldn't matter. If it matters, then you're too coupled with the framework. And then when there's a new framework comes to town, you need to relearn everything because it, it's very hard to translate the things you knew into this new paradigm. Yeah, right? yeah. That's why it's another point that I make is to not to build UIKit apps, not to build SwiftUI apps, but you build apps and you use UIKit or SwiftUI to deliver the user interface. Especially because in games, it's different because usually most of the logic is in the app. It's not in the backend. If you have just an app communicating with a backend, it has zero logic, it's just consuming data, then it's just like a dumb app that doesn't have much logic. But games, usually, you have all the business rules, giving medals, all this in the app. Sometimes you don't even have a backend. Or if you have a backend, it's just a storage mechanism, yeah. like Cloud Kit. You just store the data so it syncs with other devices so you don't lose the data. But all the logic is in the app. In this case, it's even more beneficial to separate the logic from the frameworks.